Hey everyone, it's Dina. So a lot of times you see these really cool designs that have curved text, it's arced around a design, um, or you wanna put it on an ornament or something of that nature. And that's the topic of, the, of today's video is how to curve your text. And what we're going to do is learn how to draw a shape, how to take your typed text and place it on that shape, and then how to convert that to a path. So let's get started. Over on the left side of the screen, we wanna use our drawing tool, and we wanna choose the oval or the ellipse, and we're going to draw a shape. Now, by default, when you draw this, it makes an oval, but if you want a circle, you can hold the shift key and then draw your shape, and you get the perfect circle. So hold shift, draw your shape, let go of your mouse, and then let go of the, sh the shift key, okay? Today we're going to use an oval shape. So once you get your shape in there, you can resize it by drawing the handles out bigger or dragging those out bigger or smaller, your choice there. And we're gonna say that this is the size that we want to use. And you can see that I have some text typed already, how to curve text. And what you're going to do is double click on the text. And you see this little circle handle in the bottom right corner of that text line that has the four arrows. You're going to grab that with your mouse, so click and hold, and then drag it down to your shape until they attach to each other. Boom, just like that. Now, it may not be in the exact position that you want, and you can use the same circle handle to rotate that left or right. And if you don't want it placed on the top, just pull it off of the shape, choose a different position, and try again. Now, sometimes it can be tricky if you wanna get it on the inside, so just keep trying until you figure out where the best position is on that shape so that it gets to where you want it to be. Now, see this handle here that moves up and down, you're going to use this handle, and again, I think there's a little bug in this version of the software. So you kind of have to watch where your cursor turns to a little plus sign. You can drag that up or down to move that in or out, and you can see how it's pulling the text closer together, it's pushing it out further apart, just depending on how you're moving that text, right? Okay, but that's how you do it. Type your text, double click, drag it onto your shape that you've drawn on your, your workspace here, and then just fiddle with it until you get comfortable with how it looks and all of the things like that. Now, one thing to note is that um, at this point, you want to set all of the characteristics of the text, such as color, the font type, and things like that before you convert it to a path because once you change that text it's no longer considered quote unquote text it's considered an object okay so we're going to say that our font is where we want it our color is where we want it the position is great um, and you know we don't need to make any other changes of that nature now to release it from the shape because you can see that once they're connected it's like they're grouped together. You want to release that grouping and make that, a, that text a path of its own. Right click on the text and choose convert to path. And now you can move your text separate from your shape. You can get that out of the way. You can cut this, print this, or do whatever it is that you want to do next for this particular design. I hope you found this helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I add videos like this all the time, and I encourage you to give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.